Hey guys, what's up? KL in here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an Ultimate Team and today we have a Shapeshifters Alexander Arnold review for you guys. Yes, it is yet another Shapeshifters Alexander Arnold review. Why do I say yet another? Because he's had two other Shapeshifter cards already in previous CFOS, but this time around he does have a 5 star skill move striker card which does look like a lot of fun. So Heading into the player bio, which I'm going to go through in just a second. It's got 95 pace, 94 shooting, 93 passing, 94 dribbling, 70 defending. So you can play him in center mid if you want to with 89 physical. But like I said, it's got 5 star skill moves. Also a 4 star weak foot. He's 5 for 11, 12 with high medium work rates. SPC comes in at around 600,000 coins. You can start a striker, cam and center forward. He's got some really good looking stats. But I think I'm going to be trying him out at cam mainly in this video. So I think the Maestro cam style is actually the way to go. It will end up maxing out the reactions and the dribbling if I'm not mistaken. And just looking at the shooting stats, I think the volleys do need to go up a little bit. So I'm going to send him to the club, put him in the team and then give him a cam style, go to those stats and then head into the game for highlights with the 94 rated Alexander Onward card. By the way, he's got the finesse shot trait and he does have the outside foot shot trait as well. Anyway, this is the team I've got him in. I've gone with King, Diaz and Kevin De Bruyne as well as Sol Campbell to get him on full chemistry but like I said with the Maestro chem cell reactions and dribbling is maxed out, volleys goes up by 4, shot power and long shots gets maxed out as well, free kicks and vision goes up to 98, short passing up to 95 and long passing does get maxed out at 99. By the way if I am a little soft I do apologize I do have guests staying over I don't really want to wake them up so I will be a little quiet in this video but starting off this video with some defensive work from Alexander Arnold he tackles the goalkeeper not quite too sure what he's doing to be honest with you but regardless end up tackling him and he does have a tap in at the end of it so yes this Alexander Arnold card can defend so yeah Clint can defend here again showing his usual defensive prowess but this time inside the box jumps up wins the header and scores the second goal of this video moving on to next clip can we get a hat-trick in this game maybe Maybe not. Here yeah, Busquets throws himself at that to win the header. Good skill from Alexander Arnold. Goes with the finesse shot and he finds the back of the net off the post and in. But still a fantastic finesse shot. Our first goal from outside the box. Wild celebrations to match it. We get smashed in this game. But who cares? We do get a hat trick with the striker Alexander Arnold. Heading on to the next clip, showcasing the outside foot shot trace on the card, collects it from Sol Campbell, goes for the outside foot shot, into the near post, and we do end up getting yet another goal was Alexander Arnold. Moving on to the next clip of the same game here, showcasing the passing ability on the card that is a beautiful outside of the boot pass through to Rodrigo on the 4 star weak foot who tucks it away into the back of the net but a beautiful pass there from Alexander Arnold to send Rodrigo through on goal in the first place that is a fantastic pass and a great goal but we're not done just yet straight off the bat here we win the ball back with De Bruyne Trent with the Elastico and the Rabona pass through for Sol Campbell with a fantastic finish. By the way, if you guys do want to see a Sol Campbell review, let me know down below in the comment section and you shall receive. I will be releasing that on Sunday or so because to be honest, it's pretty cheap and you guys can just pretty much go out and buy him. But that pass from Trent, absolutely insane. Just karate kicks that ball into the middle of nowhere, but it just curls magically into space for Rodrigo who's able to score. Speaking of curling stuff magically from the free kick, can we go for the outside foot shot? and maybe find the back of the net it is alexander arnold and he does end up hitting the post very unlucky but anyway heading on to the last clip of this game just gonna sweat that across for trent and he does have a tap in to make it 7-2 in this game this guy pauses and then realizes that there's no point in quitting but yeah the next two clips just really showcasing the dribbling ability that this card does provide and here showcasing the left stick ability that this card has he still has it he's got a score from this and he does ridiculous absolutely ridiculous dribbling from alexander arnold i'm expecting him to be good with skill moves because he has five star skills but i'm not expecting him to be able to left stick dribble like that but here showcasing the actual skill moves on the card basically just a string of flip flaps and fake shots and very jammy there but he keeps the ball glued to his feet cuts inside and just places it into the bottom corner pretty simple enough finish to be honest but good dribbling before that to get into the space in the first place heading on to the next match to try and get a hat trick in the 90th minute del piero was a lovely pass here's george best sweats it across and alexander arnold wins the header 90th minute to send us into extra time but we did end up losing penalties anyway so heading into the next game of this video Lloris gets that into alexander arnold 
Harry could pass that man John Stones, didn't work out. Rodrigo makes the interception, slips that through to Alexander Arnold, and I'm going to go for the finesse shot, and he places it over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net yet again. Fantastic goal from Alexander Arnold. Clearly, the finesse shots on this card are ridiculous, and the finesse shot trade obviously makes a massive, massive difference. But here, an assist pretty much straight off the bat from that. Great ball through, and Campbell with a dink finish over the top of the goalkeeper. But we're not done just yet, heading into the third clip of this match and the final clip of this video. Rodrigo lays it off into Alexander Arnold. It's good dribbling. I want to take a power shot with him. Good feet, goes for goal, and he smashes that past the goalkeeper and into the back of the net to end off a ridiculous catalogue of absolutely insane goals that did also end up featuring some absolutely ridiculous assists and as you guys can see in 10 games has managed 11 goals and 4 assists now it's actually 8 games with 11 goals and 4 assists I did play a couple more games with him didn't really try to do anything with him I just let him play and he didn't really do much to be honest with you but I was trying to force feed Hugo Lloris who was in the team I did end up packing him but anyway 15 goal contributions in about we'll call it 8 games is absolutely insane from the camp position all in qualifiers he's done a very good job at that camp position is that the best position for him i will discuss that quite soon in this video now heading into the attribute details the pace on the card i feel is absolutely insane he feels fast he can run away from players and he can definitely run in behind as well so for pace i'm gonna go ahead and give him a 9.5 out of 10. shooting is phenomenal finishing is very good inside the box he tucks away pretty much absolutely everything when it comes down to the long shots, well, the finesse shots are sensational. He scores power shots as well. Didn't really get a chance to test out the outside foot shots that really tested the goalkeeper, but they were all pretty close to the goals anyway. So shooting does get, in my opinion, a 9.6 out of 10, which is phenomenal. Passing is obviously insane. It's Alexander Arnold, you're expecting it. Passing does get, in my opinion, a 9.7 out of 10. Why so high? I do think... That the short passing and long passing is very underrated on this card being 95 and 99 respectively i think that genuinely it is one of the best parts of the card because that is what you rate passing on and he can definitely do that part very very well so passing gets a 9.7 out of 10 dribbling i'm gonna go ahead and give him a 9.5 out of 10 although he does have five star skills he does dribble quite well the left stick is solid as well i don't think he has the body type and yeah, pretty much the body type and the frame to pull off quick dribbles. So dribbling does get a 9.5 out of 10 because of the stats and the skills. But like I said, he doesn't really have the perfect frame for it. Defending, pretty good. Can play him in midfield if you want to, but I do suggest giving him a shadow or anchor cam style if you are. So defending gets a 7 out of 10 and physical does get a 9 out of 10. He does last a full 90. He can hold players off and he does obviously win headers as well. Now, best position for the card, I would say, would be the striker position as that type of guy you're going to give the ball to give it to his feet and make things happen but you can also send him in behind for some reason i realized his runs aren't really that aggressive despite having high medium work rates and very good attack positioning he does tend to hang back a bit more even in a striker position which is perfectly fine because you can allow other players to run off him and you can just launch long balls with him as he does in real life so when it comes down to the best position i would say striker if you want to get him more involved in the game he pretty much plays the same at Cam or Striker, but obviously Cam, yet again, he doesn't really like to go forward that much. So he's going to chill at the Cam position, make a pass and just wait there. So if you want to get him more involved, you can play him at Cam, but I think Striker is the way to go with the Maestro Cam style. If he's playing a centre mid, like I said, the Shadow Cam style is the way to go. Now, is this SPC worth doing? If you're a Liverpool supporter, if you like Alexander Arnold, yeah, 100% he's a fun card. Otherwise... I would not say so. 650,000 coins for this card is a lot. It is a lot of fodder and there will be better and I wouldn't say more fun cards but better cards released in the future. Footies is around the corner that's coming I think next week if I'm not mistaken. So in my opinion if you are not a Trent fan or a Liverpool fan or you don't like Trent in real life, save your fodder. With that being said, I do bring an end to this video. If you like it, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.